Hey folks, welcome to this week's show. This week's show is very special to me. This is the first installment of a series of installments of my two girls, Jen and Peyton, running her own trap line. This season, Peyton turned 12, and in the state of Pennsylvania, she had to get off her mentor license and actually go take her hunter safety course. She took her hunter safety course. Jen took hers again with her. She comes back from that and said, you know what, Dad? I think I want to run my own line. Made me totally, totally stoked. Jen speaks up and says, so do I. So, guys, these installments are we're going to follow Jen and Peyton along on their Christmas break trap line. You know, Jen's a school teacher. They have the same amount of time off. We put our boots on the ground, they set their own traps, and it was a lot of fun. And for me, this is probably the best trapping season I've ever had, and I never set one trap on the PA line. Guys, get ready. This is installment number one of Jen and Peyton. This is trapping time. Look who I got out of bed this morning to go check traps. Right where I caught my first guy. It's old seeing those dogs bouncing. This is my story. This is my time. This is Trapping Time. Trapping Time is brought to you by Trapping Girl Incorporated, Night Owl Lures, Old South Lures, Southern Snares and Spot, Smokey's Deer Lure, Webster's Predator Control, Duke Traps, Wolf Creek Products, Sawmill Creek Baits and Lures. Well guys, this is it. This is their first trap check day. We set some traps yesterday. We put out an even bigger line today. We're targeting coyotes and cats, but when it's warm like this, this is the kind of stuff you're gonna catch. What do you think of your first coon, Peyton? It's good. Is it good? Um, this is a really big boar coon. We had a set here, um, almost like a mouse nest. Um, when they brush hogged this field off, there was a big clump of grass here, and we used that to our advantage and made a set. Now, Peyton's gonna get in here and remake this set, but um, we'll show you how what it's going to take to get get it reset back up again. But uh, anytime you catch these big boar coons like this, that's a lot of fun. So what's the feel walking up on your first trapped animal? Good. Good. All right. Maybe it'll get a lot better. We catch a dog. But this is day one, first catch. Yeah. So first, I'm going to put my trap back in. Make sure your chain is underneath. And then I'm going to use the dirt to make it tighter. Then I'm going to take my peat moss, dump it over. Then I'm going to smooth it out. grass and cover it over by cutting it into small pieces. Now I'm going to be using final step from Sawmill Creek and put it back into the grass. A 
And that is a finished set. From the hills of West Virginia, Smokey's Deer Lures presents the first and only real pre-orbital gland lure in the world. Applying pre-orbital gland lure to a licking branch will allow you to take a complete inventory of the bucks at your favorite hunting spot. Get yours at SmokiesDeerLore.com Well, you see, trappers are a special breed of people. We're dedicated, committed, and passionate about what we do and who we are. Each and every one of us has an intense desire to be the very best we can. So in the world of skinny jeans, man buns, and pumpkin spice lattes, sometimes you just have to stop, push back, and tell the world, that's not me. Whether you're from the far north or in the deep south and anywhere in between, Southern Snares can help you succeed at getting the job done and being who you are. Now anybody knows that uh, targets coyotes, especially in the wintertime, what do you catch a lot of? Big boar coon. It's no secret. Um, when coon prices were high, that was my favorite time. I always caught my nicest coons and my coyotes and my fox sets. So Jen and Peyton are kind of running into that now. They've already had, they've gotten one. Um, they're realizing the importance, not so much that we're targeting coon this week, but they're learning what happens when you catch a coon doing the remake because even though our target is coyotes, we got to know how to remake these coon sets. And you know, believe it or not, I with all my heart believe coon prices are going to come back up someday. And when they do, these girls are going to know how to put the, up some big numbers on some big boar coon. Well, Peyton, you're officially a trapper. Caught the old silver fox. Um, it's been so warm here the last couple days. We got our line out yesterday and we had a rain last night and I told them we was probably going to end up catching a bunch of possums this week uh, because it's been so warm. Hopefully we got a cold front coming in here in a couple days it'll get the dogs and stuff moving but sometimes you got to get in here and clean this out. Um, not as cool as a coyote but at least it's still something, huh? Yeah. You know how many turkey eggs you probably saved? A bunch. Alright, we're going to get this thing out of here and uh, we'll let her get her set remade. We'll see what she can do with the, on a remake after a possum's been in it because if she's going to be a trapper very long, she's going to experience this a lot. I know her dad does. All right, Pete. So we caught we caught your pretty possum here. So we got to remake her set. This is going to happen a lot when you're trapping. You're going to catch these possums. They're going to make a mess of everything. This one here, luckily, because it was a little one, he really didn't mess everything up too bad. So it's going to be pretty nice. So let's take and get our trap back in. We were using our cookie cutter, so everything's tight still. So put your trap back in. Get your chain down in there. Yep. Yep. Push your lever in. All right. Push it down. All right, now take your loose jaw. Push it down. Nope. Push it. Get it right there. Put your ears back down in. Nope. Grab a hole right there. Push it down in. All right, I'll take your loose jaw, let off. Take your loose jaw and push down with your finger. Yep. All right, good. So, get you some peat moss. And cover it up. It's good. Do your glove trick. Knock that high spot down. Blend it in. Okay, touch that up right there. All right, I'll take your dirt. We'll put dirt back over top of this one here. Just a little bit. We want, we're using a smaller trap, so we don't want a bunch of dirt that have to blow through. A little bit more, a little bit more. All right, that's good. All right, so I'll take your gloves off. Get a little shot of coyote urine. We set this trap yesterday, so we were pretty sure that uh, it never got our bait. So we're just going to give it a little pick-me-up, maybe think of coyote just hit here, but hit it right around your hole. That's good. All right, and that's a remade set on your first possum. Fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you won't think it's so fun when you get a lot older. All right, let's get this trap, let's get everything up out of here and go on down the line and see if maybe we can catch something else. You know, with a little coaching, these girls may just put me out of the trapping business. 
When we come back, we're headed to the Trapping Time Set of the Week. Hey folks, be sure to check out our all-star lineup for the upcoming season. New for 2018 is the hard-hitting Blackout Predator Bait. If you're looking for a beaver-based bait with some kick, this is it. We're also proud to add to the batting order our line of mouse-based baits. If you're looking for a mice bait so pure it's practically eating cheese in the container, then you will want to try Peyton's Pretty Mouse. Maybe you're looking for a bait with some long-range appeal for those cold winter nights, then you've got to try Peyton's Dirty Mouse. When you're serious about trapping predators like we are, then be sure to make your next purchase at TrappingTimeTV.com. Duke Traps has the most complete product line of game traps in the world. Check out the full line of body grippers for beaver, raccoon, muskrat, and more. Duke has homeowners covered as well with a full line of standard and heavy-duty live cage traps. Duke has over 30 models of animal control devices that can help you with your trapping needs. Duke now offers the number 550 and larger 650 coil springs, plus their newly developed number 2 Douglas for catching coyotes. Get more information at DukeTraps.com. Duke, America's best trap value. Hey folks, welcome to the Trapping Time Set of the Week. Hey, we're going to do something a little bit different. This is what I like to call tailgate talk. You know, we're on social media and Facebook. has been very powerful for our show. We've been able to reach out there and reach a lot of people. But we get a lot of questions, and I love answering questions. You know, when I first started trapping, there wasn't a lot of people out there that would answer questions for me. So anytime I get a chance to help somebody out, that's what I'm going to do. One of the questions I always get are, what's your favorite bait, and what time of year should you be using it? So what I did here, I gathered some of my favorite baits. I'm going to run through them real quick and tell you why they work good and why they don't. We're going to start with our early season baits, um, or all-around baits, what I like to call them. They'll work from day one to the last day because they're not over-powerful. Some of the brands you're going to look at is uh, Webster's Predator Control, his mice meat. Obviously, trapping time, my pure hop, and... Old South Rodents Revenge. These baits, they're not super overpowering. They got a really good smell, but um, they work good when it's it's not as it's not as cold. Um, as we start getting a little bit later into the year, we're going to start and grab some of our baits that have a little bit more reaching ability, um, such as our blackout bait. This is a personal bait of mine. I catch a lot of stuff on this. Um, <laughs> another favorite sawmill. Final step. You know, this is a bait that once we start getting into that November, this bait's really going to start kicking good um, and probably to the end of the season. Now, when I say this, guys, that means doesn't mean I'm going, oh, my God, Robbie said we can't catch nothing beginning of the season. That's not what I'm saying. All these baits that I'm going to show you will catch coyotes or predators from day one to the end of the season. I'm just showing you from my personal experiences when they work a little bit better. Um, obviously capital punishment if you're looking for a bait that's an all-around good bait whether it be for coyotes or cats or anything you're after capital punishment it it's got a real nice mellow smell to it but it's also got a lot of reaching ability it'll reach out there and um, really bring those predators in now we're going to get into my favorite line of baits because we're getting into winter anybody that knows me my favorite time of the year to trap coyotes and this all we're going to focus on coyotes obviously if it's working on coyotes it's going to work on cats but we're talking that November, end of November, December, even January. We're talking frigid temperatures, southwestern Pennsylvania. When it hits January up here, we're in single digits. Um, we're going to look at Trap Set Supply, their winter predator bait. It's in the name, winter. That's it. If that isn't the easiest bait to know, when should I use it, this is it. Um, one of my personal favorites, Smokey's Deer Lure. You know, I've caught, I cannot tell you how many coyotes I've caught on his wolf, coyote, and fox bait. It's, it's loud. I will tell you that. It's loud. It's got a skunky odor. But here's the thing about it. They'll eat it. Um, and when you're using a bait like that, a lot of times I don't like the rot gut, smells totally rotten type of um, baits because it turns a lot of animals away and it gets you a lot of non-targets, what we all like to call trash and the silver fox, you know, possums them. We're not really, uh, it's really not our target animal. Um, and then probably my favorite bait, if I had to pick one bait that I'm going to go out and put up the most numbers with, it's my back 40. Um, developed this bait myself, took a long time to get it kicking and firing where I wanted to be. A lot of trial and error. Um, put a lot of coyotes in the bed of the truck because of this bait. It is a little bit loud. Um, I get a lot of times people go, it looks like sauerkraut. It's white. It doesn't, it's not red like your normal baits. Um, little process I do to get it to do that um, but uh, it just it's it gives a lot of people that's one of the biggest questions I get but probably my favorite bait works great from day one to the end but it's a little bit stronger and a little bit more powerful when the weather starts to turn cold 
Now guys, if you use some of those tips right there, I know this was kind of quick and kind of brief, but if you use those tips right there, I guarantee you'll make your bait making decisions and uh, your next set on the trap line a whole lot better. From the hills of West Virginia, Smokey's Deer Lures presents the first and only real pre-orbital gland lure in the world. Applying pre-orbital gland lure to a licking branch will allow you to take a complete inventory of the bucks at your favorite hunting spot. Get yours at SmokiesDeerLore.com Well, you see, trappers are a special breed of people. We're dedicated, committed, and passionate about what we do and who we are. Each and every one of us has an intense desire to be the very best we can. So in the world of skinny jeans, man buns, and pumpkin spice lattes, Sometimes you just have to stop, push back, and tell the world, that's not me. Whether you're from the far north or in the deep south and anywhere in between, Southern Snares can help you succeed at getting the job done and being who you, you know, are. If you use that little tip right there, I guarantee it's going to put more fur in your shed and make your trap line experience a whole lot more enjoyable. Now come on, let's get back on the line with Jen and Peyton and mm -hmm. see what else they have in store for us. Well, Jen finally got a chance to figure out what a digger coon does. Um, We've got a couple of cat and coyote sets set up here, and yesterday we came in, day before yesterday we come in, we had one dug out. Um, came in yesterday and both of them were dug out. So what we had to do, we had to adjust this a little bit to try and catch this coon. If you notice, he's caught by a hind foot and there's a reason for that. Um, we did some did something a little different on our trap placement in order to catch him. So we're gonna do the remake here. Um, this is their first year trapping, so it's everything we do is new to them. So hopefully we, uh, they're learning a little bit and we'll, uh, we'll get this set remade and hopefully we can catch us a cat or a dog. All right, now Jen's gonna make the remake on this one here. And as you can see, what I ended up doing, I had her set, well, cause she was getting dug out all the time. So what I did, I moved my dirt hole. Instead of setting another trap, I moved my, uh, trap back i have a chain that's long enough that allowed us to do that if you notice on that coon he was caught by the hind foot and that's the reason why a lot of guys will come in throw an extra trap but i knew we pretty much had one digger and i was trying to take care of him so what we ended up doing was we took care of the problem so hopefully we uh we're good to go now she's gonna take that trap and she's gonna bed it right back in that same hole because now we're gonna have to adjust it because we've got all this loose dirt in there happening we're using a Duke 175. She's gonna push it down in there, make sure it's tight. She does her test around. Now she's gonna take her peat moss. She's gonna cover it up. All right, she's gonna take her loose glove. And just kind of level it out a little bit. We're using a smaller jawed trap so we don't want it to come through a bunch of uh, material. So we try to usually shoot for about a quarter of an inch. Now this one here, because we're in the woods and he tore it up pretty good and we know it's not gonna freeze for a while, we're gonna actually spread some dirt on top of it. A lot of that's probably mud, so you're gonna have to just shake it. That's it, just shake it. If you need to grab a hold of it and grade it, go ahead. Wood's dirt's so much different using than uh, that stuff we get out of the fields, that's for sure. Now take your gloves off, we're gonna get it baited back up. This coon really destroyed this set. Um, really hogged out the holes. It's a lot bigger than we normally do. So you're gonna take some final step from sawmill. Not like that? Yep, that's good. Push it all the way at the bottom. We want them to work for it. All right, now take that piece of wood and lay it this way, right along the side where you were standing. Yep, there you go. Okay. Right, take it a little closer to the hole. Closer to the hole. There you go. Now pull that side where your right hand is. Start pulling it out a little bit. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going right there. All right. Now what that's going to do, it's going to help direct that in a little bit. We've got our mound of dirt where that coon tore up. And uh, now when they come in, it's going to kind of force them. Even if they don't want to step directly in where you had the set remade, it'll uh, make them place their feet. So, all right. One coon down. We took care of a digger problem. So hopefully we catch a cat or coyote next. Well, as you can see here, Jen has got a monster boar coon. We've got this set up here, and we've been having coons dig our traps out. So we've adjusted it, and she actually took a digger out the other day. We ended up catching this one. I have a DP set over here, 
but I didn't use my coon cap. I should have because I knew it was raining and uh, the bait got jammed underneath the trigger. So he came over here and got caught. We're going to leave it set up the same way we had it because I think it's still going to be effective for coyotes. Um, plus, we want to hurry up and get this taken care of before the snow hits. It's starting to get really cold. As you can see, she's got like four layers of clothes on right now. So I'm still cold. And she's still cold. So All right, let's get this coon out of here and uh, we'll get the set remade. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Trapping 101. Trapping in the blizzard. This thing just come out of nowhere. We have no idea if it was supposed to come at all. But she's putting the trap back in. If you can tell, it's a little bit further back than what I normally do. But uh, we've got a coon problem here, so we're trying to take care of them and take our chances of catching a, a coyote or a cat in here. This set's going to blend itself in. Peyton decided to go to the house on this one. She wasn't going to check traps. She was starting to get a little cold. All right. I'm going to take my final step from sawmill. She snagged that coon on the last time. Yep. With it being cold, that little bit of a stout odor will definitely uh, draw something in. Sure. It's going to take a whole lot. Right, take that log. Okay. Like that. All right, set's remade. Go get one. Yes, please. Now, folks, even though we were only catching coons this week, just the excitement of rolling up and seeing a new trapper. You know, Peyton has been out on the line with me. Jen's been out on the line with me before. They've seen me catch stuff. But to physically do all the work themselves and catch an animal, dispatch it, release it, whatever we had to do, um, and remake a set in order to try to catch another animal, it just fills me up with joy because I saw the looks on their faces when we would pull up and it was just amazing. You know, if, if you've never had the chance to introduce somebody new to trapping, and you know what, a lot of times I hear, it's like the good old boys club, you know. We're fortunate enough to work with Trapping Girl Incorporated and they are focused on exactly what's happening to me. You know, I've got a wife, a daughter, young daughter. Um, they can't handle the stuff like we do, like men, us big burly guys, you know, so they have to modify, and I learned that by trapping with them. Things that I take for granted, I'm breaking down a 175, they can't do that. So there were special tools that we had to use. Um, we had to approach our sets different, you know. I may punch out 75 sets a day um, when I'm really rolling. That wasn't happening with us. We were running 25, 30 traps, and it may have took us two days to get that. Um, so there's there's different ways that you need to approach it and still make it enjoyable um was i frustrated at times you know i was you know how hard it was for me not to want to just jump down there and say get out of the way let me do it but that isn't what this trip was about this isn't what the season was about this season was about them experience what and you know showing them what i love about trapping and um i i hope that uh, they got as much out of it as i did you know um probably one of the most special moments of my life was running this week with them um, showing them the opportunity to show the country that, you know what, girls can do this too. It's not a guy sport. It's not a good old boys club. Um, anybody can do it. And that's how we're going to build our ranks in the, uh, the trapping industry and the future of trapping. We need people like Jen, Peyton, um, their friends. You know, that's, that's what we need. We need all the support we can get. And when we start fighting amongst each other that this is a man's sport, we're done. We just, well, all hang our traps up in the shed and don't get them back out. Um, I really appreciate you being with me. Like I said, this is the first installment of Jen and Peyton's Trapping Line, and I don't want to give it away, but it does get a little bit more exciting. Um, until next week, we want you to come back. Um, lots of trapping action next week. Like we always say, we're keeping the tradition alive here at Trapping Time.